according to a recent survey by Demand, Metric and GetResponse, less than 30% of marketers have a clear understanding of the return investment of their marketing funnel. The same study revealed that only 69% of marketers make converting leads into customers their top priority. So imagine how many marketing dollars get flushed down the toilet that way. A similar situation is likely true in the real estate industry. Many know the money is in the list or generated leads, but don't actually do much with their collected leads and are not following up enough. A lot of this comes from not finding the right strategy, lacking structure or lacking a system to generate leads and not being able to measure the lead generation results. The lack of a real estate funnel can cause you to be left behind by your competitors and losing market share. Well, I'm quite confident in saying that there must be many real estate pros who might think that if they had an efficient lead generating system several years ago, then they could have closed more deals and thus have more money in the bank today. I know, could have, should have. So let's put the past behind and focus on what you can do today. Because in today's video, we will create several powerful and profitable real estate funnels so you can generate and nurture better leads in an efficient way for your real estate business. Save time and be able to scale your marketing to make more money. Have a better chance against your competition who don't have a systematic marketing funnel yet. Get a bigger picture and structure for your overall marketing strategy and be able to measure your leads generation generation and therefore get better every day. So what's a real estate marketing funnel or should I rather say marketing panning? What? Marketing panning? Well actually I don't like the term funnel because it is misrepresenting the process of what is actually happening when you apply a so-called marketing or sales funnel to your traffic. You might have a funnel in your kitchen and when you put a substance in the white opening the same substance leaves from the narrow area to where you want it. Nothing actually changed the substance, you just facilitated a better way to fill a bottle. So why is this a misrepresentation and what actually happens in a real estate marketing or sales funnel? Well, a marketing funnel functions more like a filter and I consider it rather similar to the process of gold panning where you look for a river that you assume has some gold particles or gold nuggets. Then you go to that riverbed with your gold pan and begin to swirl around the gravel from the deposit in several iterations until you are left with some potential gold particles in the center. The river and gravel correspond to the traffic you generate for a certain website or landing page and the gold particles correspond to the customer you get out of it. The process of swirling in between traffic and customers are the different steps you need to apply to filter out the unusable gravel from the potential customers, your gold. Similar to different swirling techniques, there are different techniques and tactics to filter out or convert your traffic to real customers. So what's the basis from which you can invent your own real estate marketing funnel? If you look at the function of marketing funnels with the eyes of a copywriter, you will quickly find a pattern that reminds you of one of the classic copywriting formulas that I've already mentioned so many times on my blog hackingrealestatemarketing.com. Only in this case, the formula that is usually applied to a whole ad, sales letter or sales video is a funnel with different steps. The formula I am talking about is called AIDA, attention, interest, desires and action. So how does this apply to a real estate marketing funnel? By offering something for free that represents something of value to your target group, you create attention. Once someone is interested in your free thing by using different communication channels, ideally email marketing or text, you tell them interesting facts or uses and partially solve their problem but not completely. Through the same communication channel, you also create desire for the actual product you are selling, for example, properties, real estate services, deals, contracts, etc. So your target group is convinced to take action, which is the last step in the AIDA formula in your communication, whatever channel you use, you might want to alternate between content that creates interest or provides interesting things, less promotion, promotional and rather educational, and content that creates desire, more pro promotional and less educational. So this would be the basis of any real estate funnel. Number one, attention. 
offer something of value for free. Number two, interest. Teach or tell them interesting facts or uses and particularly solve their problem. Number, th number three, desire. Create desire for your actual product, usually properties or real estate services. Four, action. You are good enough in step three to convince them to take action on your offer. Well, since I'm a fan of fractals, I see them everywhere and this again is a fractal. A topic I already mentioned in my article about 80, the 80-20 rule in real estate marketing on, hacking, on hackingrealestatemarketing.com, linked in the description below. You can also apply AIDA in variations to each of the, the just mentioned funnel steps. Well, theoretically, I could end the video here because this is already the basis from which you could create any real estate marketing funnel, but I will give you some templates so the funnel basis gets clearer. To make this video not too long, I will show you three of these real estate funnel templates in my article about the same subject on hackingrealestatemarketing.com. I have a total of 17 different funnel templates, so maybe you want to take a look at them too. So let's get into the templates. Number one, the sales letter funnel. This funnel sells your front-end product or service, usually the entry-level product at a low price with a long form sales letter. On the back end, you have several upsells and downsells immediately after the first sale. Here's some examples of this template for a real estate marketing funnel. Selling, for example, a local, uh, local one-day tour guide of the touristic attractions in your neighborhood and upselling an appointment for a house showing. Or selling rent-to-own contract templates to sellers and upselling an offer to buy their home. Number two is the squeeze page funnel. This is a simple two-page funnel. The goal here is to get an email address from your visitor. For that, you don't even need a lead magnet, such as a free ebook or something else. After visitors enter their email addresses, you can give them access to any special content, which can be an article, a simple video or something else. The squeeze page just has to create enough curiosity for your visitor. Example, an example for a real estate marketing funnel would be you could offer a how-to video to find the right price to sell a home within 30 days. The last template I want to show you, at least in this video, more in my article, is the survey funnel. This funnel can be highly effective for cold traffic from PPC advertising because the first page is a simple survey which makes the visitor engage. The survey itself helps to segment the visitors and according to the visitor survey results, different sales messages can be suggested, for example, a sales page or a video sales page. An example for a real estate marketing funnel could be to survey retail buyers which price range, house type and location they are looking for and the results page is then a downloadable PDF of current listings. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Have a nice one. See you next time and bye bye.